is the is it, did the thing come on to say that it's live streaming? I don't think we're live streaming yet. Nope, we're live streaming. Yes. Okay, everybody. Uh, welcome to the what is this September meeting of the the Baton Rouge Astronomical Society. Uh, tonight's speaker is going to be Stephen Tilly. He's going to be discussing all about uh, doing a recap of Alcon 2021 and also telling us a little bit about his visions for Alcon 2023 and Baton Rouge. Um, so should be an informative discussion and uh, hopefully a, a lot of y'all will be real excited about this and help out. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, toss it over to Stephen. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you all for coming and sorry about the feedback. I hope you ears don't work too bad. Okay. It's, it's, okay. Out the, this year we had Force of Alcon. It was, it was pretty much, it was online. All right. Okay, well, the one of the, the keynote speaker was Josh and Bell Burrell. She's famous for discovering postwars. It was, she got a really informative talk about the, all the ins and how of the discovery. And she also was valuable when she dis, discussed her dealings with what she referred to as imposter syndrome where she felt like it wasn't, she wasn't really supposed to be there, but right now, at first she didn't, or professor got the Nobel Prize and she didn't, but history has vindicated her and she's now fully credited as the discoverer of postures, which is a really good thing. Then we have David Levy. David Levy was, was a really good speaker, it's just more, and he also did many talks on many point readings. He we would stay for it every night. And, and it's and he has a really long story history of comet discovery and we're gonna probably go over the speakers real quick because the main thing I wanna spin on is on my vision. And we we'll always take questions on outcome, but here's then we had I mean, it's really good. David Eichel was a really another good one. He, and he's also a Civil War history buff. Live streaming is on. Okay. Oh, all right. We're now back on YouTube. Of course, the the basic. I've been so I started dreaming about Alcon in Baton Rouge when about Alcon in Baton Rouge when in 2019 when I was at the one in Taito, Florida. I really enjoy and I decided to thought I had a really crazy idea that why don't we try to bring it here? And now we're really we we have it now we just have finished a few fine finishing touches in the planning, but I think it will be really good because Bad Roots members can go to Alcon without having to buy tickets, plane tickets and hotel stay. We have several nearby facilities, astronomical facilities, which we we have. Is we have Hyro Observatory. We have LIGO. We have the Planetarium.
attendees can probably make a side trip and see that. Of course, we've all been to Weigel, and I think it's a really great facility, and I think it has a lot of awful digital tobaccos. Of course, Hyrule Observatory has been here. Many asteroids discovered here, and I think it also has a lot to offer. Okay, we have the planetarium, which is which is a good resource and and part of the location we're really looking at right now, we're hosting it, is at the downtown Hilton. So that will be we we may not that's the place where we'll so it could be a really and that will put a lot of things close by. Of course we'll have people have to pay for parking during the day, but it's not enough. You can probably save on the planetarium trip or happen, not having to, to pay to bus everybody to the planetarium. I think that will save a long run. We also have activities and batteries for the astronomical widows, orphans, and widows, which I think is really good because sometimes we all have family that they 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 love us. They they won't they 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 don't care for photography, but but we won't see or. The, the, the date for okay the, the, this is the date we're we're selling on for Alcon in twenty three it'll be a Wednesday through Saturday we could, they're gonna probably come in the night before and we're gonna we have we're gonna do field trips that Wednesday while they're having the the meeting with the having the league committee meeting, and we're going to do that. Do probably looking to do maybe LIGO on that date, and then we're going to have the other dates. And we also want to be looking into having a store a, a store viewing on top of the roof of the Hilton. They have a really nice place for the for the Hilton, here's the moon phases. It works out well. Okay, here's the thing I, I want to push. Why am I calling this astronomical gumbo? Gumbo is a uniquely Louisiana thing. And it's like this mixture. And I, I will suggest that gumbo is also a good analogy for astronomy because there's so much involved with astronomy. Is, and, uh, and also, you have so many different groups of people work together over the years. Like Edison was helping Einstein to get data for relativity while there was a, a World War II, World War I going on. So we can really do it. And as many people can add to, you, know, you don't have to be a PhD to add to astronomy. There's many as animals can do in their own way. And also, I, I suggest the more people we have doing good astronomy, good science, and the more people looking at the sky, the more people we can have through the mint light pollution. So I think in the, in the end run, growing the hobby will be a good thing. Most of the work we're going to do is it's going to be subcommittees. We go, uh, well, I want to break up the work as much as possible with subcommittees where nobody will be overwork. They won't be having to worry about a thousand different things. And, and my basic philosophy is, or, or I would suggest whoever ends up being chairman of Alcon, the basic philosophy is you get a subcommittee you give them parameters of what needs to be done. 
you you send the, you have the subcommittee work on it, then they report back to the full committee. At the end of the day, they need to, they need to work things back. We send it back to the subcommittee, but you don't have to. But you pull them so this will be if you want a opportunity to grow and have a little mission and, and see how much you can grow. I think this could be an opportunity if you work on one of the subcommittees. You don't have to too too much and we're gonna have a good bit of stuff. Or well, even there's a special talent you have that will add to our kind and make it better and you want to head up a subcommittee we'll we'll be opening open to having you work. We are not gonna have a thousand subcommittees, but if there's something special talent you have, please let us know. Okay. One thing we the thing with outcome we're gonna have a lot of speakers. One thing I've noticed is probably a thousand speakers people want to add. And but I'm just asking that nobody speak to a speaker unless you go through the subcommittee for so we don't have we don't want to have the same speaker as a thousand times. So I'm asking everybody the privacy on on the committee or subcommittee, the privacy submit a wish list. We, we have a wish list already together. The more wishes we have, the better wish we can have. And it's probably possible if you have a, a, a couple wishes, chances are maybe one of your wishes is on the list already. Or you can add somebody we don't know about. And, and since this is gumbo, I want a good mix of speakers. I mean, we need, as a metaphor, we need a little garlic in the gumbo. We don't want too much, but we want a good. And I, I want people, when they come to Alcon, they, I want them to be inspired. And I want them to go, go away, go away with the, with the, on how to make the clubs better. And I want them to see speakers and, and, and turn the speakers together. I just, I can do that too. Okay, we, we this is a really rough guessment on what the possible cost for attendees. Boy, what I suggest is this next hour comes to be $90 for the first attending. And I suggest we. Maybe it'll be ninety-five dollars should be, and then the second attendee will give a a dollar attendee will give a discount. For students, we'll give a, a good bit more of a discount. For students, we won't students, and then for for the non-family extraordinary family members, we're gonna we're gonna probably. All we're going to charge for the name tag if they need a name tag, or if they're going on any of the add-ons, because we're going to have the base conference, and then we're going to have a bunch of add-ons like field trips and all will be will be add-ons. Okay, so the hundred dollars that you're, you're rounding up here isn't going to include hotel. It's not going to. No, it's not going to. No, it's not going. It's, it's not, not going to include hotel. This is this is. Like, is there a grand package that you can imagine for how much would it cost? Like, it, I walk in and I'm just like, I want everything. If, it's of, not be possible, of course, but in some of the, well, the outcomes I went to, yeah. there were so many field trips, yep. you cannot do everything. Yep. Uh, unless you cut yourself in a couple different pieces, yep. which I will not recommend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you don't want to, so it's really one of the things, so, I mean, because we can have more, I can get that a little bit where we can have more than one field trip going on at the same time. Yep. It depends on how many committee members we have. So if there's something you want, you want to help make happen that's not on the list, it'll be more like, I can't promise it will happen, but it'll be more likely to happen if you join a subcommittee. I mean, it's really, I mean, being, if, if you want to speak or the, 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 it'll be more likely to get the speaker. No promise. I won't promise you to get a speaker if you join a subcommittee. I mean, well, 
I mean, we we, I mean, we won't. Of course, if you if you give the name of the best speaker that could ever be thought of, and you're now committed, we won't discount it. I mean, I, I mean, but it's, but it's more likely. And we want to, and we probably the main thing we want to do is, we want to get the, we want to take do what we can to, to take care of help. Our attendees take care of the non astronomy family members, so that way they're more likely to come. Okay, here is what we have from something like this we have on add-ons. As I mentioned before, it is a moon viewing. We have several different field trips. Why go? One thing we ha all of them have is generally on the Friday night, it's, it's called, in the past, it's called the store barbecue, it's store viewing. And food. Since we're Louisiana, I really think and the lead committee is really interested in having Louisiana food. It's going to be away from the hotel. So we, we may have a couple places. There's also a rewards dinner, and we may add we may add lunches as and other cool cool places. As add on, we may, depending on what we can do, is we may add a, a, a trip to, we're going to have a trip to maybe here, HRP, and we may add a trip, if we can't add a trip to LSU at the campus observatory. And it, it, you know, it depends on how many people we have, if they can find a good dork size site. Within a, a, a good bus trip, we may, and I, I don't think we have that really good talk to us, but if one would materialize That's that we could use, we, we, we could possibly have, add that. Well, some of us have, or some people have camps. Uh, we have a couple of members that have some, some nice property yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, um, uh, 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 to, to of course, it, if we were to use members probably in the middle of nowhere, the promise will be is we will take extremely good care. The committee will not will not be trashing anybody's property. I mean, I mean, it is, I mean, if I had to be there on, on Sunday morning picking stuff up, I will be there Sunday morning picking stuff up. I mean, if if we use if a if a member is kind enough to do that, and, and we can make it work. We will. I mean, I, I'm open for. I, I'm open for suggestions. I mean, okay. We want to see fence sponsors. We're going. We're going to need a good bit of fence sponsors. We got. We got some money in the outcome fund right now. We're going. To, I say we get as many sponsorships and ads as we can. We won't. Sponsors, as I would say, is that will be a good fit. That'll be a win-win for both for for our participants and them. We also, if there's if if a sponsor finds us that's not a bad fit, I mean, we'll take the sponsorship. We'll, we'll open to many different possibilities. Of course, just as a little side note, and. There was one sponsor vendor in 2018 that was fairly brave and being there. I'm not going to mention his name, but it's just probably offline. You can probably speak to them. Right? They, they got treated fairly, fairly, but they were fairly brave. I don't think I, I'm not going to go out my way to find sponsors like that. Of course, if they. If they were the finers and, and, and they and they knew what they were getting into, we will probably consider it. But I probably don't. I want I want a sponsor that's a that's a win win for everybody. I mean that. And the more sponsors we have, we can have better speakers. And, and if we get more sponsors, we can make the youth. Cost to attend the convention cheaper, and I, in some ways, as that's one of the goals. But but probably the last goal, um, 
I'm going to put on the printer I have afterwards is if we get all the other necessities funded, if we could get sponsors to un- to underwrite some of the costs of the bus trip to LIGO. LIGO is going to need, it's no promise. We buy up the choice, but if we could, if, if, but if we could underwrite that cost, I will like it. But it's, it's, it's probably can't be done, but we have to do all the other priorities for it. Okay, we vendors we want we we want many vendors. Have you any is there any cool astronomy stuff you have and you think the the other folks at Alcon will want want it and buy it? And you have a list, please pass that information and, and we will find a way to contact them and see if they're willing to become a vendor. As we, we we're gonna as we're gonna have we could we can have an unlimited number, but as many good vendors we can have, we want to have. Okay, <coughs> we're having a planning meeting this weekend at Coffee Call. If you can make it, do it. But of course, once we we get the meeting, we're gonna probably. Send people on um, subcommittees, and, and most of the work will be done. So we won't have to have everybody at the main committee all the time. Of course, the main thing as I say is we're going to make the the meetings more manageable. We're going to only have who is absolutely necessary at the main. It's not. But of course, if somebody has something that can really contribute and make the success, we will have them at the main. But we're going to, but we, but we want to do most of the work in the subcommittee. So it's going to be like a little mission. You you get the mission and you report progress. We know you're making progress, and and, and for each committee to dispose because I think that. One of the tasks with each of the committees is make sure we, but well, we we have a number of committees we're going to fall. We have is with scheduling and what not fall. We transportation. So we have, and there's any specialized knowledge you have that's that's that we lay it through that that we could possibly possibly use. Please let us know. Even if some it sounds a little bit. I mean, we're going to need folks to set up the PA, the public address system. So it's going to be it's going to be a good bit of stuff to set up. But I think it's doable, and if we, if, if, if everybody that's willing can chip in a little bit, we can probably this we, we will make this work. I mean, we'll one way or no, it, it, we we have, we have it. We need a we, we and, and we can make it great, and we can when we can. I I, I believe. We will raise the board, okay. And and the plan is also going to be to set up a unique gypsy meeting URL where when we have to, or we make to a couple of when we have to to check ins, so we can quickly we subcommission quickly check in and and. and but we're not going to, I don't want anybody, we really have to come to every single second, every single man. In some cases that they may be able to shoot off, a, if you can just, somebody can, working with the subcommittee, shoot, shoot out a few emails, get the answer and, and submit it, where we can, we can really, I think we can make this. Make this work. And FYI, we need writers. Yes, open the, the, the I got a question. 
since you and I went to that Alcon. Well, why don't you come through the microphone, please? Okay. So Stephen and I went to the Alcon in Minneapolis. And um, one question I had was Night Sky Network was there. Yeah. Were they considered, do you remember if they were a vendor or sponsor? What was their classification? I'm not quite sure what their classification was, but, but by all means, we will have the Night Sky Network. We're, we're probably going to have a rep from. Do you from have them. any of your programs or any information like that? If you look it up on that, you'll probably find out if they were a sponsor. Yeah. If they're a programmer or an exhibitor, you'll find out all the bad yeah. awesome programs and stuff. Yeah, like I was going to go back and look for the. Do you still have your. I still have mine. And that, that is, of course, when, when folks join the committee, uh, Bob, I'm going to be giving the, the, the sub committee children will have a, a link to we'll have a link to a couple of spreadsheets where we're going to consolidate all the information it's, it's subsheets and, and it's going it's to be a, a be a sheet with it's going to have a lot of the data and that's some some of the data i have i've been been from stomping into a google docs directly so so most of the stuff is i, I don't I, I can't believe what Einstein once said was I he's been present saying it's, don't even know anything. Oh well, there we go. All right. I wanted to I wanted to consolidate some things here. All right. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, this is that was my fault. Yes, but it is, I guess hopefully anybody that listens, I hope nobody listens to this with headphones on later on. We may we need to we need to put headphones warning in the description. So, so what's that? I mean, that's it's, it's, but there's a lot of stuff that's going to be it's going to be on that thing. And, and if any of y'all have been in at Alcons in the past, please, if you can, scan the program in and. Since you be, it will be, I'll find it most helpful. Might not be on the floor. I think that memory stick is in the floor. Okay, any other questions? Yeah, I think that's a great start. I mean, we're going to need people. So, yeah. uh, one thing I liked about the Alcon in Minneapolis was sort of the concierge level experience. Okay. So if we have some people that would be happy to be greeters, you know, handing out lanyards and, you know, answering questions, you know, you're going to be probably stationed at the Hilton would be my guess and uh and helping out uh, that would be a tremendous help for everybody involved if you've got that sort of personality uh, speak up there's your opportunity yes, and, and we will take we will take care of the volunteers i mean we're not with the volunteers and 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 we get and we get to keep port of the port for the profit from outcome we get to keep so if, if we make it work we can we have we we will have stuff we can do do good stuff with i mean if we decide we want to give away more telescopes to high schools we could if, if we, we we'll have money for for that or or we want to do a special eclipse expedition in, in the future, we could help underwrite that with, with the profits. Okay, anybody trying to speak now? Let's see now. We're not getting any sound right now. 
just going to say it sounds like an excellent uh, presentation and appreciate it very much. Thank you, Tom. It's Okay. Has anyone in uh, on on Jitsi been to an Alcon? No. I have not. Okay. So the, okay. the the three club members we have that have been to Alcon are the people that are sitting here. Yeah. Okay. What other conventions have have the people here has been to speaking online? Well, I went to a board gaming convention uh, almost exactly 10 years ago. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it, you know, uh, in the middle of a snowstorm, you know, in January like we did, though. <laughs> well, no, the, this is, uh, unless things go really, really wrong, uh, we're, we're holding it in July. Uh, so yeah. we should be okay, yeah. uh, depending on where uh, Stevens Field trips take us. Um, I mean, there's a, I was thinking to myself earlier, what can we show people in Louisiana that they wouldn't be able to see from a much nicer dark sky site, like in New Mexico, say, and the, the one thing thought was, well, we are pretty southerly. Yep. Um, so we can probably find some, some nice Southern targets if we can get there. Yep. Um, so that naturally leads to the question, well, if, if we take a bus, we can always go down to Mexico or South America or something like that. So, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. No. We're not going to go so far south that we're in the winter. Um, as tempting as it would be to, to find those parties. You don't want to go to Ice Cube? No, no, but I was thinking if, if we did go to like Brazil or Chile um, we, and, you know, tried to, to put some of those things on the list, we would really, really outdo the, those people up in Canada um, that are going to put on a, a really nice show in 2024, um, I imagine. Um, so no, uh, right. the, the point being is that no, we, we aren't going to be worried about blizzards, Thomas. Yeah. I will say though, um, as someone you know from used to these guys going to Minneapolis and then having to realign my brain to see Polaris a little bit higher throws you off. So we're going to have people come down here, and even though they know the skies, they're going to be like, oh, "Wait a minute, I got to hit the reset button and know where yeah. I'm at." Well, the, the the simple humidity alone is going to yeah, be that's gonna, people people gonna people just that most people have, I think a lot of people that do astronomy in other parts of the, the country don't realize what it's like to do astronomy How while they can through this much hum, uh, yep. moisture, yep. Um, which is it, it's extra challenging. Yep. Um, but the, the, the trade-off is, is that we, we do have a couple of really nice southerly objects. Right. Um, for example, I've never really thought uh, if you read through some of these AL programs, they always talk about uh, oh, the Omega, uh, so yeah. Omega Centauri as being like, no, well, this is yeah. kind of tough. No, it's not very tough for us. No, but a different time of year. Yeah, different so, time of year. This time of year, we have Scorpius and the tail of Scorpius. I commented We've got a, a couple at of the things. dark side, you know. There are some really southerly objects in Scorpius that you probably couldn't see further north. Uh, uh, things such as the Prawn Nebula would definitely be very skirting the horizon if you got further up north or the uh, yeah okay well then we'll find from here i mean yeah it's not much different okay well it's, I'm, I'm thinking of what's too too low to shoot so that there are different things that are too you know, low enough to see but too low to shoot yeah do you guys have any ideas to how many people showed up for alcon in minneapolis I forget the numbers, but the, the range was, I think it was about maybe 400, but, 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 but the range is between 250 and 500. So I, I really should yep. judge what we, what we do is we, we try the budget where the break even, we, we do the budget where the break even point for it is to, 250 and then and then then any and we when we go and we promote we promote this thing to the hilt we promote this stuff and do the hilt and we and it's any forms you're online with 
So I try to promote them, and, and, we, and we really, I think if, if we can really promote the things for the, the non astronomy folks to do, we could get a good bit more people here because you're asking to, you're asking to give up about maybe about a, a half a, a week to a half a week of vacation time that could be with a family. So if they can, if they can have the family have a great vacation too, and, and we plan like where, where they feel like they're, where the vacation does it. Do you have plans for what now happened? The thing is, and, and they get a couple good speakers in, they get a couple good speakers, they get a meal, and, and with, with, with group, then they, and, and, and there's a win-win for the whole family. I think we can really, we can get more more people here. Yeah. I think that's where the museum yeah. on the list helps with that. That's one yeah. more thing families can do that isn't necessarily yeah. something we would. Do you have a suggestion of what day of the week it would start and how long it would last? It was it was stored on the Thursday, and it will go through. It will work so on the Wednesday and it'll go through the Saturday. So so pretty much and we're, we're gonna be looking at the ash in the hotel the block off room from Tuesday night to Saturday, Sunday morning. So they were gonna they're gonna block off a good bit of rooms at the hotel for us. I mean and a lot of the costs, if we fill the hotel, and if, and, and if we get folks to eat enough of the hotel's food, they will cut us a really great break on the convention space. Or we can probably get, and we can probably, and for, for selling, I think one was the, the fees for, the vendor's fees, we can probably, we can pretty much, if we plan like we can, we can break, we can pretty much get the, the, the get the convention space low enough where we, we have enough funding and enough funding to get the speakers we, the cost for the speakers we need because we're not going to, we're not going to get the speakers for, for free. Yep. Yeah, anyway, to you, and we're not going to. And I, I suggest we don't. It depends on how well we do it. We, we make sure we we get everything. We're going to really, we're going to want to, going to have a team that's going to show really good hospitality to the speakers. So the speakers, when they leave here, they'll 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 be saying, "We're really glad we went." So this is going, to, it's going, to, it's going to. We can make this happen. I mean, we have. We have enough, and we can make it happen without anybody sweating too much. And I really believe many of y'all boy have a name at least one speaker you always wanted to see in person. I can't promise we'll get that speaker. I have a long laundry list of speakers that I will, I want, and I'm not going to promise myself I'll get that speaker. I mean, is I mean it's. Of course, but it's just, but it's just that one I, will, I really want, I'm not going to mention the name because that's the one with the rule I'm at here. But if we can get the list and we can get enough, a good enough mix and good enough speakers, I think we can we can really pull, pull, we want speakers that will pull people in. LSU has a lot of great speakers that can probably pull that people will want to meet. Yep, that's exactly why I went to Minneapolis. Yes. So that's the way we do it, and it's a, it's a good it's a good opportunity to meet the people you or some of the people you were always talking online, but you never met in person. I think that will be. I think it's really, it's a really good place, and I think it's, I think it's a good place for some of the younger members to develop a couple of skills that can have crossover value. I I, really, I I think we can make we we can really make a. I just want I want to get enough folks to help out where we don't 
Nope, I have to sweat too much or go too gray or whatnot. Draws is there anything that stands out from Casper that you know you thought that resonated with you? You mean as far as speakers? Speakers or, or the way they set anything up? Um, let's see. Well, I'm trying to think of, of anything that really really stood out. Um, basically, it was uh, good. I enjoyed it. I mean, they seem to be fairly organized. They seem to be fairly flexible too. So, um, uh, I think flexibility is important. Yeah, because so. the 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 issue I had with Minneapolis, and you can back me up on this if you felt the same way. When I had to choose what I wanted to do and see, and who I wanted to listen to, sometimes it was like biting my nails. <laughs> I wanted to go out to some places on the bus, but I couldn't because there was a speaker I wanted to hear and vice versa. So we can plan around that. No, I think I think we, we probably want to plan around. We'll probably, I'm thinking we'll have several tiers of speakers and, 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 for, and for, the, uh, for, for the top tier of speakers, it's going to be in a place where it won't be a conflict, but, but uh, and I think if we can make it work and we have a, several workshops going at once, what we may do is is have the workshops, if we had them in different places, if we have a couple of rooms, but three satellite rooms are having workshops, have them repeat the workshop where you can see yeah. where you don't. But I mean, the main thing we want, we want, we want folks to, uh, it's probably a, a good outcome will be, you won't be able to see everything. You, and, and there's opportunity cost with anything you do. But I think, I think the main thing we want to do is make sure each of the field trips are in such a way where you don't say afterwards, I wish I did. The other field trip. I mean, yeah. the main thing we I did main thing is, is the we're gonna need help with far find a good caterer for the strawberry cube, and, and we're gonna probably when we get near it, we're gonna need a lot of help. Probably stuffing bags with the the goodie bags and, and stuff, and and, and we're gonna so probably what we're gonna. But, but we probably don't want we I don't want anybody to sweat too much or or you can you can sweat as much or, or as little as you like. You want me to talk to Stephen Hightower at some point? I mean, if, I, I guess if you this, I mean, he, he they catered our wedding. I mean, look, I mean, it, it no, it I think the main I'm not quite sure on. on I'm looking for good, good catering. I think the main thing we want to do is I want we, we, with catering, considering how much different types of food. I mean, but we, because we want, but one of the things we're going to have is we're going to be having a astronomical gumbo. Yeah. And, and really, I want, so I, I, want I want a caterer who can that can know how know how know how to handle because with what 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 skills me about astronomical gumbo is somebody will mix up the chicken gumbo for ladle yeah. with the seafood ladle yep. and, and when and somebody with with seafood with children's algae will come so we really need that's the that's the nightmare i have with yeah and see that's the thing about high tower no, I mean like, it's I, we, we 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 I'm not sure how we'll handle that, but we may want a subtle way where you that's not too inclusive. Where somebody has something like something subtle, where you won't really where, where maybe they will know it or they won't know it. With with, with a little so like thing on a symbol like a you it have a seafood out here, you put a pelican on there named that. No, just something so like that. And you may you think on the other ones you put land above but, but then they they they, they, they tell tell you that you see a pelican on the name tag. 
I mean, be careful. I mean, that that's something that 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 won't yeah. that won't won't fall like privacy. Yeah, won't won't fall like privacy. That what we will keep keep them because that's only having a a a, a, a food and food. It's something that we will have to be be aware of and how we. We and, and, and he probably knows how to handle. Yeah, because he's been doing it for like 20, 30 years. No, I mean, I mean that we, we want we want a good, a good, a reliable form of care and and, and, and for and for okay. out. Uh, we probably at this point can go ahead and stop the. We can wrap up the the public portion of the yeah. yeah. and just go ahead and digress into because this sounds like we we've devolved in from the. Exciting sales pitch to yep. the, the mid level. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anybody on on Jitsi have any questions about uh, subcommittees or anybody? Yeah. Uh, I know, you know Chris being Lafayette. <laughs> uh, you know, I think you'd be a valuable yeah. person on on one of the subcommittees. Yes. Yeah. And, and with, with with this, many of the committees are gonna could work by email or online. We're gonna we're gonna think of innovative ways out of the box. Yep. All right. That's in the live stream. Okay, everybody, and that's pretty much all that we have for the the public portion of the meeting. Um, we will continue on later with the uh, the 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 meeting details properly. Do you have anything you wanted to add for the presentation for well, Alcon? Asking if we're ending it and then starting the meeting for... yeah. No, we're going to start the uh, the public portion of the yep. meeting. We're just going to go over stuff that we've done with the club and uh, have jokes and whatnot that uh, don't need to be put on YouTube. And, and uh, you droning on and on and on. And me droning yeah. on and on and on until everybody goes. Anyway, so you can see that we've got some plans that we've already setting up for uh, trying to get Alcon 2023 to Baton Rouge. We're very excited about this. Um, the plans are going to happen one way or another. Uh, we encourage club members to join in and become a part of it. Um, it should be a good time, and uh, it, it's something to look forward to. Um, so anyway, thank you very much.